Hello everyone and welcome. So today I want to show you guys that it's possible for you to do your CrossFit class at home. As you know, all the gyms are closed and if you want to exercise, you have to do at home. So of course I don't have any equipment, I don't have any dumbbell, any barbell, anything, but what I love about CrossFit is that it's so wonderful that you can modify. So first of all, you can use a lot of your body weight to do the exercise. And another thing is I'm gonna show you what I use that you can modify with. So for my weights, so I use this Windex jar, I put water to the top and I put some duct tape here so I won't see water going everywhere. But this must be about 12 to 15 pounds. Another thing that I use is my laundry detergent. This one here must be about 20 pounds and I love it because I can hold it here. Another thing that I use is my basmat rice. This is about 20 pounds also. Another thing is my broom. So it's wonderful for you to do stretches with it. Also, you can put it on the floor and then you jump on top as if you're doing jump rope. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys three different sections from warm up to the exercise. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you how to do and the form and everything. So this way you're gonna have like three classes to choose from. So every time that you choose one, you're gonna be using different muscles on your body. So I'm very excited, let's start. Okay, everyone, we're gonna start with warm up. So as you can see is three rounds of the warm up. So to start, first we do gonna do 30 seconds of paleo squat. So let me show you how the paleo squat is. So paleo squat, you open, you do a squat, and then you put your elbows against your knees and you push it. So we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. The next one is a five times push up down dog. So this one, you go on the floor, and you do a push up and then you do a down dog. And then the next one is a easy one, is 10 air squat. So So okay, so after you're done with your three rounds of warm-up, now let's go to the exercise. So the exercise today is 15 minutes, okay? So you set the time for 15 minutes. And then you start doing 20 single arm dumbbell snatches. I'm gonna show you how you do it. Right after you're done, you're gonna do 40 double wonders, which is double jump rope, but we're gonna modify. And then you're gonna do 20 burpees. And then again, 40 double wonders. Right, so for the single arm dumbbell snatches, you're gonna get a weight. This must be about 12 to 15 pounds. My back straight, and I'm gonna tap the floor with this. So I'm gonna tap the floor, and then as if this is, a, I'm gonna close a zipper, and I'm go all the way up to my head, like this. So since it's 20, I'm gonna do 10 on this side and 10 on this side. So one. So after you're done with that, I don't have a jump rope here, so I'm gonna use my broom. So I'll put my broom on the floor like this. So it says here, 40 double wonders. So let's modify to 60 single wonders, which is what we're gonna do here, okay? So for this, I'm gonna put a broom on the floor and I'm gonna jump 60 times. So, you got the picture, right? Right after you're done with this, now it's time for 20 burpees. The famous burpees. I don't know if you know the burpees. <laughs> They're very famous. So basically a burpee is a push up and then you have to right away get up. So you do a push up and then you get up and you tap. Push up, get up and tap. Push up, get up. And that. So that's the burpee. When you're done with this, you go back to double wonders. Remember, you're doing 60. Okay? Once you're done with the 60, you're gonna start all over again with the single arm 
a snatch, you know, 10 on each arm. Then you go back to the double under, then you go to burpees, then you go back to double under again, and you keep going for 15 minutes. This is an awesome, awesome workout. You're gonna work the muscles of your whole body, especially your heart. As you can see, I'm just showing you the exercises and I'm already out of breath. So, uh, yeah, it's, that's why I love CrossFit so much because you work your whole body in 15 minutes. So, okay, so now after you're done with your cardio, basically workout, we're gonna do a midline workout, which is three rounds of 50 Russian twists and then 50 ab mat sit-ups. I'm gonna show you. So for the Russian twist, you sit on the floor and then you put your knees up and then you put your arms like this and you're gonna go. See? So you're gonna do this 50 times. Once you're done with this, you're gonna do, I like to put up. So you sit on the floor, put your feet together like this and we're gonna do 50 ab mat sit-ups. Which is you touch the floor and you come back. Touch the floor, come back. So you're gonna do this 50 times. Once you're done, you go back to the, you know, Russian twist 50 times, and then ab mat 50 more, then one more round and you're done. <laughs> okay, for the next exercise, we're gonna start with a warm up and it's gonna be three sets. So it will be one minute uh, jog in place. It will be 10 kettlebell swing, you know, eye level. And then five, 15 air mat sit-ups and then 20 air squat. So let me show you how it is. So jog in place. So we're just gonna jog in place for one minute. Okay, you got the picture. After that, we're gonna do 10 kettlebell swings, eye level. So I like to get something that has a handle like this. You open your legs a little bit further than your shoulders, and then you're gonna swing, you're gonna swing this to my butt, and then when it's time for me to push it up, I'm gonna use my hip. So it's gonna be something like this. And you're gonna do this 10 times. Let me show you on the side how it looks like. And you go up to eye level. And you're gonna do that 10 times. Next one, 15 ab mat sit-ups. So for this one here, for my pillow here on the floor. And uh, put your feet together. And I'm gonna do a sit-ups, I'm gonna touch the floor and then come back. So touch the floor and come. So I'm gonna do, you're gonna do 15 of this. <laughs> okay? After that, you're gonna do 20 air squat. When you do your air squat, make sure all, that you go all the way down, passing your knee. Okay, 20 of this. And then we start again. Like I said, it's three sets, okay? Okay, now for the exercise, you're gonna do seven rounds of the three exercises that I'm gonna show you. And then when you're done with those three, you're gonna rest for a minute. When the one minute is done, you're gonna start another round and you're gonna do that seven times. So the first one will be 15 push-ups, then will be 15 reverse lunges, then will be 15 tuck jumps. So let me show you 15 push-ups. Push-ups, you can either go like this, you can either do a plank and go like this, or you can put your knees on the floor, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna do 15 of this. Okay, next will be 15 reverse lunges. 
I'm gonna use this wig. This is about, I don't know, maybe 12 to 15 pounds. I'm gonna hold this in place and I'm gonna do one leg at a time. So I'm gonna go down and touch my knee to the floor. Other leg, touch my knee to the floor. So we're gonna do this 15 times. Okay, next one is 15 tuck jumps. So tuck jumps is a jump with a tuck, which is you're gonna bring your knees to your tummy, okay? Something like this, okay? Like this. So it's not just a little jump, you're gonna bring your knees up. So you're gonna do 15 of this. Okay, so that's your workout, and you're gonna do this seven times. Okay, now for the third exercise, the warm up will be three inch warms, three push up to down dogs, 10 air squats, and 10 spiders man stretch. Okay, so let's start with the inch warms. So for the inch warm, you're gonna go to the floor, and you're gonna go like this, and come back. Okay, so you're gonna do that three times. And then you're gonna do three push-ups to down dog, which is a push-up. So you do a push-up, and then you do the down dog. Three of this. Okay, now we're gonna do 10 air squats. Then 10 Spider-Man stretch. So for the Spider-Man stretch, you're gonna put your hands to the side like this, and you're gonna put your feet here, and you're gonna stretch. And then you're gonna go to the other side, so you put it back this, put your hands on the side, the other one. And you're gonna do this 10 times, five each leg. This is a great stretch. You warm up your arms, your abs, and you stretch your legs. So for the exercise, you're gonna set your timer so you just know how long it's gonna take for you to do this exercise. But basically it's gonna be two movements. One is a burpee and the other one is a kettlebell swing. So um, you're gonna start with 12 burpees and then 12 kettlebell swings and then 11 burpees, 11 kettlebell swings, then, then, nine, nine and two, one. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. So let me show you the burpees. So a burp is just basically push up to the floor, then you go up and you tap on top of your head. You know, like this. Okay, so you're gonna do 12 of this, then you're gonna do 12 kettlebell swing. So then you get, again, you're gonna swing this up, you're gonna use your hip to push this up. 12 of this. When you're done, you're gonna do 11 burpees, 11 kettlebell. You're gonna to continue to do this until you are on one. So that's the exercise. Okay, so after you're done with all your burpees and all your kettlebell swings, now we have something called body armor. So it's gonna be four rounds of 20 dips, 20 floor press, and then 20 shoulder taps, okay? So let me show you how it looks. So the 20 dips, so I hold you what I do, I go to a step like this, see? So you sit down, and you're gonna go with your arms like this, and you go up, okay? Position yourself, and you're gonna dip. You're gonna do this 20 times. Okay, you got the picture. After this, we're gonna do 20 floor press. So, so my husband got me this log from outside. This is kind of heavy, this must be about 30 pounds. So just be careful, whatever you're gonna get, just be careful, okay? So I'm gonna get this here. And I'm gonna lay on the floor. 
And I'm gonna do 20 floor press. Okay, you got the picture. After this, you have 20 shoulder taps, okay? So the shoulder taps, what are you gonna do? We're gonna start to go on an angle here so you can see. So we're gonna go on a plank, okay? Like this, tuck your um, abs in, and then you're gonna tap your shoulder. Okay, so you don't wanna go like this. You really wanna tuck your abs so we stay in place while you're doing this, like this. See? You're gonna do 20 of this. Okay, and that's the workout. And those are the three exercises that I want to show you. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, they are very good workout. You're gonna work your arms, you're gonna work your abs, your legs, your heart, and your home, and you can do it in about 20 minutes. So to me, it's like no brainer. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.